Well, first thing, I think it was very positive that General Petraeus agreed to come before our committee. Uh, I think the fact that it was good for the country, uh, it was good for our intelligence community, and it was good for General Petraeus to bring closure to a lot of issues that were out there that he needed to take care of and testify before our committee. Um, we talked about the first briefing that he gave us where there was a dispute about what he had said. And I was at that hearing, and basically he reinforced the fact that uh, he initially, the, in the first 24 hours, uh, he felt at that point, or the CIA felt at that point, uh, that this uh, was a protest as a result of what happened with the film in Egypt. Uh, he clarified that after, uh, after more information came in, that it was not a protest. But he also did clarify, which was very important and relevant because this has been a debate for a long period of time, uh, that he made in this statement to us that there were extremists in the group and that they were al-Qaeda affiliates. Some were al-Qaeda affiliates. And that was very important because that's been a debate for the last three or four weeks. Intelligence failure is getting information as it comes, singet human information. And you, in the initial situation, this is what they, they understood. But then the investigation evolves. And the fact that you could then start to interview the people on the ground, which is very relevant and important. Also getting the tape, very relevant and important. And remember, we had to get our Americans out of there. That was a very serious situation. There's a lot of concern about the fact the FBI didn't come back for three weeks. Well, the reason is that when they had to go back, they needed protection. They needed, needed to make sure that their lives were not at risk again. And we had to rely in the beginning with a very unorganized government and security group who was working with us and, and that was the, uh, the Libyans themselves.